Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that one in just a second. So in this example, what I want you guys to understand something. If I said x plus 4 squared, or let's just do x plus 1 squared. In reality, that's x plus 1 times x plus 1. Does everybody follow me? If you were to use FOIL, the first thing you do is multiply the first two terms. Gives you x squared. Is there any other number or term when I multiply them that's going to be larger than x squared? No, right? Would everybody agree with me? There's nothing that's going to be larger than x squared. x squared is the largest. So remember, we, when we're determining end behavior, we only care about the largest degree. We don't care about everything else. So the largest degree in something in a binomial squared, it would be that x squared. So if I was to multiply this out, if something's cubed, the highest, or some, so here, this largest is going to be x squared, dot, dot, dot. The largest this is going to be is going to be x to what power? Cubed. Now, as I multiply these all together, remember what do we do? We add the, add the powers, right? The exponents. So I multiply these two. That would give me a highest power of x to the fifth, because you multiply or add. And then, you multiply, and then you add this one, which gives you x to the sixth. I have no idea what that looks like, but I know that my degree or my power is, or my degree is even, and I have a positive uh, coefficient, right? Because none of these coefficients had a negative coefficient. So therefore, I know it rises left, rises left. So as x approaches negative infinity of f of x, that equals infinity. And as limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x, that equals infinity. And just to make sure we did our, these two answers correct, 